retire, sire. Good evening, boys and girls, ladies, hmm, and a gentleman. Turn the lights down low and shut your faces as I wrap you in the cozy blanket of a story. A story as heartwarming and soft as a mother's kiss. Or is it? Shh. Once upon a time, there was a boat. Now, this wasn't just any boat, children. It was a ship. A ship full of friends. Hundreds of friends. Best friends, one and all. A veritable friendship it was. Get it? But it wouldn't be very ladylike of me if I didn't mention the most noteworthy friend on board. Hattie Hattington. Say hi to Hattie. Hattie was like king friend of Friendship Kingdom. Best friend to one and all, and the walking definition of handsome gentleman. Now, one fine morning, Hattie and Pal set out for a new, exciting adventure. What fantastic fantastic wonders would they discover this time? Perhaps they'd come across a scary ghost ship. Perhaps they'd find an island made entirely of candy. Perhaps they'd meet a band of scary, swashbuckling pirates and join forces to find an island made entirely of candy. Who knew? But it didn't matter. So long as they were together, there were smiles to be had and adventures to be shared. Now today, twas a day like any other adventure day. Spirits were uncrushably high, everyone was singing and dancing and having a jolly time. When suddenly the ocean was all like surprise. Rise and a huge, massive storm brewed out of nowhere. Boy, that was quick. And there was thunder. Boom! And the lightning. Boom! And the wind. Boom! And like that, it was over. Is everyone okay? Said Hattie. I don't know what I'd do if I lost even one of you. Hattie continued. But the eye of the storm is very misleading, children. Never turn your back on it because the ocean was all like, psych! And it came back even bigger this time. Twice as big. As if Poseidon himself extended his hand in friendship and they spat in his mouth. Boy, he was pissed. He was mad. And the rain came down like a shower of Bullets off. Ah! And the floorboards were buckling and creaking and breaking, and pieces of their ship were raining down like shards of broken dreams. And then Reginald comes upstairs and he's all like, I say, gentlemen, I do believe we're in quite a spot of bother. And everyone else was like, Really? What tipped you off, genius? And then Hattie was all like, Hey, be nice. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Huge giant waves thrashed the boat to and fro. Fro and to. Carelessly sprinkling friend after friend into the cold, unforgiving abyss of the deep deep, dark ocean. Everyone was screaming like, help me! Splash! Splash! And there was this huge whale like, and made it super scary. And I think there was a shark. Yep, there he is. Oh, God. And then Hattie was all like, hold on to your butts. Land ho! And bang, bang, bang! Smash! A shipwreck as foretold by their fate books of fate. And while it seems like the end, this is merely the beginning of another fantastic journey for the brave crew of the SS Friendship. What a strange, mysterious island. And what's this? The shore is riddled with little friend-sized footprints. I guess the tide brought them to land. How utterly convenient. But where have they gotten to? Who knows? I don't. Do you? I don't. Hmm. Maybe our friends came in here to take shelter from the rain. That's smart. But geez, what a gloomy place. Ever heard of sp- Happy day! It's Hattie! And look, he's made some wonderful new friends! Ooh, and they got him a present! How thoughtful! Hey, wait a second, I don't think that was a present. Ha! Huh. Those guys aren't wonderful new friends, are they? Just stay hidden and keep quiet. They haven't seen you yet. Oh no, they see you! Clench your butt, this isn't gonna be good! Ah! Yep, that wasn't good. That wasn't good at all. Hi, 
Time to find some gems. Time to find some gems. We need three of them. Everybody in the pool. You find gems and not death. Use <laughs> these on the vending machines in the store. Okay, bye.
they put the gems, but I'm not gonna. Don't let those things zap 
help you. It burns and it hurts a lot. Secret. <laughs> Time to find some gems. Time to find some gems. We need a them. Don't get zapped. Most people poop themselves and die in that order.
And don't you don't suck!
Pay yarn. That said it wasn't Pay yarn. It was called Cat String. People used to use it. You're a cat string. Well done! You sure know how to make the best of a confusing and hopeless situation, but boy, this place is quite the enigma, wouldn't you say? I would. And you know, a little warning would have been nice. You know, before they threw us headfirst into this gladiatorial, prisony place with its perilous medley of twisted stage productions that shred the silky fabric which weaves together the fragile blanket of sanity that keeps us sane. But you know, whatever. Either way, it's safe to say we're in quite a pickle jar here. We gotta rescue our friends and get back to Mr. Boat. I mean, they do the same for you, and adventuring just wouldn't be the same without, I don't know, this guy. Best chef in all the land, food so stupid delicious one taste would blow your face through the back of your head. Like bang, splat! And who could forget this quirky fellow? You know, he owns a bat farm back home, and his lifelong dream is to breed a terrifying race of super bats. None of which makes any sense, of course, because he's absolutely terrified of bats. And this lovely lass always tells the best bedtime stories, hands down. Plus, she always smells like chocolate. So that's good. And then there's this guy, and this handsome fellow, and that thing. All your best friends imprisoned. And they don't like it very much because it's bad and horrible. And then there's Hattie, the best friend of all. Why did he stab us in the back and twist the blade? I mean, just this morning, he gave everybody flowers and presents, and now he goes out of his way to hurt our feelings? Oh, I think not. You can't fool me. Hattie would never betray us. B betray us. Never! Something fishy's going on here, and I think I... I don't like it right now at all. It must have something to do with that scary, albeit fashionable hat. Sure looks evil. I mean, it's glowing red and stuff. Glowy red stuff is always bad. Everybody knows that. So what dangerous treats lie in store as we continue to unravel this treacherous sweater? I don't know. But use caution as you continue your gallant endeavor. Don't, don't like, fail and die and stuff, because it's all up to you now. What? Why did, why did it do that? That was, that was scary. <laughs>